Svala is bringing know-how from the heart of the entertainment industry, Los Angeles, to Eurovision. Should we talk about this? Let's, Let's do, do this! this. Hi, Svala. It's Hi. so nice to have you here in Los Angeles. Aww. Do you live here permanently? Uh, I actually, yeah, I, I've been living here for almost eight years. Wow. Yeah, I moved here in 2009 with my, with my husband and my band that I used to be in called Steed Lord. Yeah. Why did you choose LA? Um, our management was here and I had already been here a lot because I moved here in 2000 when I was signed with EMI. So I knew the city really well. I had a lot of friends here, even relatives that lived in the city. And yeah, I've just it's always been one of my favorite places. Yeah. I love it too. <laughs> what is one thing you miss from home though, from Iceland? Uh, there are a lot of things. I mean, obviously family, friends, um, candy, Icelandic candy, uh, the food, water, the air, nature. I mean, there's a bunch of things. I mean, thank God we have Skype because I can Skype my family and friends all the time. And so it makes it easier, you know. Do you go home often? I go back and like maybe like two, three times a year. Uh, I'm a, a judge on The Voice in Iceland, so I go back for that always for like a month, month and a half twice a year so I go back for that and then I also go back if I'm doing shows if I'm touring in Europe I do a stopover so at least like two three times a year I go back so that's that's great great so you get the both the best words the, yes. the best of both words yes. <laughs> yes so your song paper has gotten so much praise which is so weird because the internet is full of hate but it only has hype for you how do you feel about that does it make you more nervous or excited I'm just very thankful and, and just humbled by it because the song is really personal. I wrote the song about a very personal experience. It's about dealing with difficulties in life. And uh, I've been very open in the media in Iceland that I've dealt with uh, anxiety since I was a teenager. And I wanted to write a song about uh, when I deal with difficulties and how I overcome them. And the word paper is a metaphor for emotions because when I'm dealing with difficulties, I feel fragile and vulnerable like paper. So it's a metaphor for that. So it was a deeply, deeply personal song. So it's so amazing that people connect to the song and relate to the song because it's a personal one. And we all go through things. I mean, nobody has a perfect life. We all deal with stuff in our life. So I just wanted to be really open and honest about it and, and talk about it and not be ashamed because when we talk about things and we're open and honest, we're kind of setting ourselves free. And uh, so it just it just touches me that people like the song even more because it's a personal one for me. Wow, that message is amazing. Now, how do you plan to express that message for the first time listener on the Eurovision stage? You're a designer, so you probably have a good vision of the staging, your outfit. Yes, we. I just really wanted to uh, be very personal also and very uh, present and honest and real on the stage so uh, I didn't want to do a lot of choreography in, in the in the national selection in Iceland I was moving around a lot on the stage there I don't want to do that in the in the semi-final in Kiev I wanted to be more centered and just really sing from my soul and 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 let the words and the voice you know be heard everywhere uh, I want it to be more dramatic and, and uh, epic because it's a big stage and you can play around a lot with that big stage and the visuals and we're, we've been working on amazing visuals for the show and a new costume and I'm just very excited. I don't want to give too much away but it's... <laughs> yeah, uh, we can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, I, and I love science fiction movies so my costume is a little bit sci-fi inspired because <laughs> I just... I'm a nerd. I love <laughs> science fiction and fantasy movies so... Uh, I just really wanted to be myself 100% uh, in my performance, so yeah. Awesome. What's your favorite movie? Blade Runner is my favorite. Fifth Element, uh, Star Wars, Star Trek movies. Wow. Uh, Get all the votes from the geeks. <laughs> so many. I mean, I just, I love, and I love anime, like Japanese animation and, uh, you know, fantasy movies too. I mean, you know, the Harry Potter, the Lord of the Rings. Like, I'm a total nerd. Like, I love all that stuff. Awesome. Um, unfortunately, Iceland didn't qualify the last two years, which last year was a total steal, if you ask me, but does that make you even more nervous? Uh, not maybe nervous, it just maybe a little bit more pressure to, you know, go to the final. And uh, I don't know, I don't know how it works if, I mean, because it's so weird that she didn't go through, uh, go up from the, the semi-final into the final because Greta did great. 
Uh, but I just, the only thing I can do is just do my very best and it's out of my hands. I mean, I can't control if I go forward or not, but the best, I mean, I can just do my best and hope for the best. But it's, you know, of course it's a little bit of pressure to, to go to the finals. I would love to go to the finals just to bring that message even further and, uh, you know, just go all the way. It would be, it would be great. It would be awesome. I hope you get there. Me too. Are you a very competitive person? Uh, I mean, not really, but when it comes down to it, I can be a little bit competitive. I, I remember when I started working on The Voice, you know, I got a little bit competitive for my kids, my team. So I was like, oh my God, I'm like the crazy stage mom. Like I want my kids to win. And so uh, I, I guess I have a little bit of a competitiveness in me, but I'm, I'm very supportive too. I'm like supporting everybody even if they're competing against me i'm like so weird i'm like i love you like go 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 like that's just what i like i'm a supportive person you know that's so. the right attitude <laughs> yeah how do you feel about your placement in the semi-final you're right after moldova which is very upbeat yeah. yeah but it doesn't really have that depth of meaning i actually like being that late in the uh i'm number 13 mm -hmm. Uh, and I kind of like it like there's been like a bunch of songs then and then I'm there kind of in the like I'm in the end kind of I think I'm because I think it's 18 songs, right? Uh, it's 18 songs and I'm number yeah. 13. Yeah, uh, I'm actually just really happy being in that uh, in that slot. I, I, I wouldn't want to be the very first. I feel like people are just like turning it on and having a slice of pizza when that's you know <laughs> happening. So <laughs> I'm very happy that I'm like a little bit, you know, further down the best for the end yes <laughs> what about the video people for some reason think that it was filmed in a fish factory yeah. it was actually a coffee factory can <laughs> you tell us more it about was that a coffee factory um i understand that they thought it was a fish factory because i'm from iceland and everybody's fish and like everybody's in the fish factory no i'm kidding uh but uh we filmed it in a coffee factory amazing smell it was like coffee smell everywhere and i love coffee energized yeah so it was it was great and uh my husband who co-wrote paper with me actually directed the video as well he's a director and uh, i love the video because it's it really shows what kind of an artist i am because i am a very visual artist i have you know a very unique style and uh we just really wanted to show that and also i like that there's kind of two sides of me in the video where I'm where I'm wearing the the uh, dress I'm more of a like a you know I'm kind of escaping something I'm kind of like afraid and you know vulnerable and then when I'm wearing the other outfit with the feathers I'm more of a, like a fighter so oh, I'm kind so of yeah so I'm kind of just like owning it and just I'm fighting the the fears like I'm not backing down I'm like facing them so I like I like those opposites, you know, in the video. So I'm very happy with it. I know that people thought like the earrings were like Illuminati or something. I don't even know what Illuminati is. So I was like checking, like, what does that mean? And uh, these earrings were given to me by uh, my stylist. So um, who styled the video. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't know what. It, They're gorgeous, I'm, I'm, very you. Yeah, I'm not Illuminati, just, just so you know, <laughs> yeah. whatever that is. Breaking news. Yeah. <laughs> Um, now, your dad competed. He represented Iceland back in 75? 95. Oh, 95, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Um, you also have some friends who participated in the last yeah. couple of years. Did yeah, they I give mean, you any special advice? Yeah, I mean, I've. Uh, my dad competed uh, in 95 on Iceland's behalf. And because I've been in the business for so long, I started recording music when I was seven. So I, I mean, I know everybody who's competed for Iceland you know very well so uh, they've all just you know been really supportive and given me advice and told me to just enjoy the ride and do my very best and have fun and just be in the moment you know it's a it's a it's a crazy ride that you go on this Eurovision thing so I'm just very excited you know I'm just going into it with like full of joy and excitement and you know wanting to do my very very best and just put my heart and soul into it and you know get to know new people like you and You know, it's it's all about that. Making friends, you know, making memories with, with cool people. And it's a great community. Yeah, I think so. Did you ever consider sing, singing your song in Icelandic? I actually uh, didn't write the song in Icelandic. I only write my music in English. So for me, it wasn't really something that I wanted to do. The, the, the Icelandic lyrics were written by uh, an Icelandic lyricist called Stefan Hilmarsson. And... Uh, It was a very great lyric. I loved it, but uh, because I wrote the song in in English and 
I write all my music in English. That made more sense because that's my lyric. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I, I loved singing in an Icelandic. Uh, I'm just not very used to singing in Icelandic. I've been known to do uh, English speaking music. Mm -hmm. So that just, I just have to do what feels right for me as an artist. So that's why I'm singing it in English. But I might sing it in, in, in Icelandic, you know, in Kiev, around, you know, around town. Okay. I'll perform it somewhere in Icelandic. We'll be looking forward to yes. that. <laughs> and on that topic, you've changed a lot since, you know, 2001, the real me. Yeah. Would you say that your style has evolved or would you say that you have found the real you? Yeah, I mean, uh, when I started, you know, when I was little, I was only doing like kids music. And then uh, when I had my second number one hit when I was 16, I was doing electronic music. So I, I've... I was always known for doing uh, club music, dance music, and then when I was signed with EMI in the U.S., uh, they wanted to, you know, they want, wanted me to do pop music basically, and uh, I wanted to do R&B, electronic music, and you know, they just had different different ideas for me. I was very young, very little, and uh, didn't really know anything, and I stayed with them for four years, and uh, you know, I, I co-wrote a lot of the songs on that album, the first solo album, but never really connected to that whole era because it wasn't really me and then in 2006 I formed Steed Lord uh, which is was my band for 11 years and that's kind of when I was like I found myself again as an artist as a songwriter you know it was like in 2006 I I just found myself because I kind of lost myself in those in that era because there was just so many people controlling my career and controlling my sound and I, I wasn't able to be myself as an artist, um, so when I when I formed Steed Lord on my own and I had my own label and everything, I just controlled everything. And since 2006, I've just been, you know, doing myself 100% musically, creatively. Um, so yeah, and Paper is a part of that, and Steed Lord and Blissful, which is my new band. And so people can check that out and see what kind of an artist I am. Yeah. Wow, you're bringing so much talent and so much experience to Eurovision. We're truly rooting for you this year. Thanks so much for Thank talking you. with us and best of luck. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye.